Oh, it's good, man. What's different with the downfield passing game, especially in Washington? Um, we just played football. I think that uh, throughout the game, we just, you know, kept running it and uh, kept hitting, uh, you know, the little passes here and there, and eventually brought everything out there, and then we went deep. So, uh, it was just, I thought it was, you know, our most complete game yet. Um, we looked extremely good on both sides of the ball, and it was a great win for us. You got held again, didn't you know one of those? Yeah, 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 yeah. They called another pass interference. But, uh, you know, it's just credit to how hard we work out here um, and the techniques Coach Yarbers uh, taught us. Um, you know, it's hard. You know, we're pretty big receivers, so we understand that, you know, if we're physical, that, you know, uh, we get a lot of holding calls. So, um, just another one. Uh, another win is great for us, so we're happy. You kind of feel like you guys are turning a little bit more in the last couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, I for sure think that. Um, I think right now we're playing our best football, and um, you know we're hitting at all cylinders. Um, even today in our bye week practice, you know we looked you know extremely good on offense and, and defense. So um, you know it feels good to be you know where we're at. Um, you know, so we're excited. You know our next game is a big one, and uh, we're just gonna you know take it this week and get you know get healthy and then get back at it. How far does it feel like you've come from the back-to-back -back losses, and it kind of seemed like the season could go in either direction? Um, you know, we kept battling. I think everyone saw that. Um, we're fighting through a lot of, you know, a lot of mental mistakes and a lot of penalties. So we kept fighting through each game, uh, staying resilient, and um, you know, it's benefited us the last two weeks over big, you know, these big wins. Were you uh, pretty disappointed for Devin on that offensive pass interference call? Yeah, you know, I think it may have been my fault, honestly, because earlier in the game, the guy said that I would, you know, I, I have to stop you know, pushing off or whatever, but I said, you know, it's not my fault. You know, I, I'm 215 pounds, like anything you do looks like I'm pushing you. So, um, you know, he may have been just wanting to call that the whole night. So, I, I mean, it was a touchdown. You know, it may not go in the, you know, the, record, the record book as that, but it was a touchdown. I feel so bad for him. I know you talked about how penalties have gotten pretty redundant. You know, you got a game where you don't have one for an entire half. Yeah. What was different specifically? Um, we took it upon ourselves. Uh, you know, I don't think anyone else can take it. You know, the coaches can't help you. you know, they can, they can teach you the right techniques that can help you. But we actually took those techniques and put it onto the field. So uh, hopefully that uh, translates, you know, to our next, you know, two, three games, four maybe. So uh, you know, we just got to keep going. At what point do you start really kind of focusing on USC? Um, Right now, I think today we kind of did some generic stuff, but uh, you know, I think all of us have started looking at the film. Uh, we started, you know, looking at them and uh, you know, getting a head start because uh, that's what this bye week is really for: getting healthy and getting a head start. So, um, you know, I know the receivers will look at it today. Um, we'll all look at it today. Uh, quarterbacks have already looked at it, so it's kind of just like you know, builds up through the week. Um, as the week goes on, more and more film will be watched. And, as you get to Sunday, that's when we really start game planning. But um, as far as game plan goes, we really don't start that till later on. Do you have any sort of emotion and passion you want? Um, they're always athletic. They're always, you know, aggressive. They're always, you know, good football players. Um, I saw a couple of their games already this year. Um, they're, you know, like I said, it's like a lot of the teams we play. Um, very similar defenses, but uh, you know they're, they're another great team that has great athletes over there. You know they, they recruit the best of them, so we're excited. It's always fun to play. You know the crosstown rival, and um, you know we're excited to get after it next week. You guys have been one of the best red zone, or the best red zone team in the country. You have to miss one opportunity, and it's just a field goal. Right. Well, that's the what makes you guys so good. So good when it comes down to this one. Um, I think it's the want to. Um, you know, we, we work a lot of it over here in the red zone. So uh, when you put a lot of time into something and, uh, and you want to do it, the outcome is usually pretty good. So um, that's our outcome is, you know, being the best at it, I guess we could say. But, um, you know, we, we just want to get in the end zone bad. So, you know, we, we at all costs try to get in. It's help when you have a guy like Brett who, you know, if you call a pass play and it breaks down, that he, you know, has the improvisational skills to get into the end zone. Most definitely. I mean, you have now, he can throw it, he can run it. You know what I mean? He can throw it while he's running it. You know, he can do all sorts of different things. So uh, when you have that, you know, dynamic of a quarterback and, and those many options, it's, it's pretty hard to stop him, especially when he's only, you know, five yards away from the end zone. We have Turkey here, guys. Thanks, guys.